Okay, let us talk about today return to vendor process with the purchase order. The return to vendor process is like you create a purchase order with returns checkbox so that it will it is going to create a outbound. I mean, we can create an outbound delivery with VL10B and then outbound delivery will be distributed to EWM and then the that uh, material will will create a pick task and then confirm the pick task and then goods issue it. So make sure that the material what we have is having pro sufficient stock and then it should be in the block of stock. So let's take this one material and then go to MMBE. There is a stock in MMBE in AFS1 location. Execute. Yeah, AFS1, we have 10, 10 pieces. This is good. And then check it in EW. AFS1, 20 pieces will be there for the same material. Stock and bin, physical stock. Ten ten pieces are there, no problem. But it is in reserve area. Instead of this in reserve area, we can also make sure that we can move it to block stock also. But right now, we'll issue from this. Copy this material. Slash and slash a CWM slash macron. Change. Okay. Fixed. Control S. Let's see the fixed as tissue strategies and then specify stock removal. A one, I think it's also FIXD. Fixed been picking FIXE, right? Let's see. It has fixed, but it doesn't have reserved. So let's see and add reserve area because the stock is in reserve area right now. R ESR, the stock is in this area, save. Okay, then I'll make sure that I have a BP. I am in purchasing data and then if I go to purchasing, make sure that there is a returns checks. If you remove this and then add it again, you will find out customer is 146. Okay, that means I have a business partner, this business partner I have, F5 vendor I maintained. Customer also maintain, and then BP also maintain like BP. So let's go with ME twenty one N. Three eight seven. <clears throat> this is, and if it is a blocker stock, you can select blocker stock, but right now it is an unrestricted stock. I don't want to make sure. 
stock is from AFS1. Returns checkbox here. Enter. It displays the shipping. And then see delivery type is RL. Shipping point is this one. Customer is this. Save it. 1907 is my purchase order, BL10B now. Background. And then display delivery so make sure that this delivery is distributed to control y and control c check this is in ew or not erdo transaction so this has two pieces to be picked and then F2 stock. Oh, it's directly giving a bin also. Of course, maybe this is based on rough bin determination. But function origin, colon function. And then if you create, okay, there's a way it is taking it. And then form you. It's taking from this batch. Okay. And uh, if you want to change it, you cannot change it. But uh, if you want to change that one, you need to create one more task. But of course, this is okay. There are two batches, as I told you 27 and 5460. 27 is as per sequence. This is the this batch is and seventh batch. Maybe first receipt it is taking, I think, but still confirm plus save. So goods issue completed for this. Team 21. Goods issue posted. And then stock will be reduced. May FS1. Good. Seven zero zero two seven is for purchase. So this is how we can do the returns to vendor with this process. But if you want to check what document type we've got determined in EWM, let's see that also. Your way to be item category red or red returns to end up. It's default. I mean, automatically it was taken. I I didn't do any configuration. This is twenty twenty two two thousand twenty twenty two system so it was done automatically <clears throat> 